Hi, I'm George Jarris, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about my game called Snowball Fight. Snowball Fight is an 18-card deck builder for two players. Uh, it features simultaneous action selection. There are uh, offensive actions like Snowball Attack and uh, Slush Ball Attack and Sneak Attack, and there are also defensive actions that players can take like Dodge and Restock and Upgrade. Uh, and so the battle back and forth, two players back and forth trying to build their arsenal, build their supply of, of different uh, attacks and, and defenses, and uh, try and eliminate the, the other player or, or get a better, better supply of uh, snow weapons than the other player. Um, the game starts with each player getting a starting deck of five cards. They get uh, equal amounts of basic cards, uh, which include snowball attacks, dodges, upgrades, and restocks. And then they'll get two advanced cards that can either be dealt out uh, randomly um, or the, you can uh, draft uh, two of them. So they'll start out with three basic cards, two advanced cards, and then the remaining four advanced cards and four uh, extreme cards. Uh, the extreme cards each have uh, a unique, two unique abilities on them. A unique offensive ability and a unique defensive ability. Uh, things like throwing rocks or whitewash, uh, ice ball attacks, snow forts, uh, lots of different thematic abilities. These get shuffled up and create two arsenal decks in the middle of the, the table that uh, players can use to upgrade their decks from. Play is simultaneous. Players will shuffle their, their draw deck, select two cards from it, and then from the four sides of the two cards, they will choose one to play against their opponent and discard the other one. Their opponent will choose one to play against them and then simultaneously players flip over and decide what happens based on uh, attacks and dodges and upgrades and and as players upgrade they will take from one of the two center piles whichever one they want and the game ends when the two center piles are depleted and then players add up their points in the cards that they have have acquired throughout the course of the game um, advanced cards are worth two points um, basic cards are worth one point and extreme cards are worth three points. Uh, there are some back and forth mechanics uh, in, in the game so cards can end up getting uh, thrown out of the game, abandoned out of the game, but they're never truly abandoned. They, there are some extreme cards that you pull them back in. You can steal cards from, from each other and go back and forth until, uh, until you have uh, determined a winner, whoever is the, the winner of the snowball fight. Um, I also have uh, three alternate extreme cards that are uh, available that uh, can be swapped out for the, the standard extreme cards that add in uh, speci other special abilities to kind of mix the game up. I've got things like uh, an upgrade and dodge, a dud, uh, raids, weapons cache, backfires, things that are fun. Uh, the game can also be expanded to uh, more than two players by adding in additional decks. Uh, you would need two uh, extra cards for every two players and an additional deck for every additional two players if you want to. But the main game can be played with just 18 cards. And uh, if you want to expand it further, you can add in the alternates and the, the no-effect cards that allow for, for more than two players to play. So that is Snowball Fight. It has been a ton of fun. It uh, received first place in the 24-hour contest for September 2015. Uh, it received second place in the 18-card contest on Board Game Geek in 2015. Uh, it has been tested at Protospiel events and has been uh, uh, widely regarded by a lot of different people as being a, a, an excellent game. I've really enjoyed playing it. It uh, plays in about 15 to 20 minutes and is a lot of fun. And that's Snowball Fight. Thank you very much.